Hello everyone and welcome back to another Star Stable video bestie. Welcome back. Today I'm going to be going through the top five things you should do right when you log on to the brand new player character update. Okay, like I don't even mind the makeup. Like the makeup's kind of cute. I'm not gonna lie. Okay, so without any further ado, let's get into the video then. Let's go. And as always, I currently have a free 500 star coins code giveaway up on my channel. Be sure to go check that out if you haven't already. The very, very first thing you want to do when you log on, especially if you're on Nightstar, um, I think the UK one is like Unicorn Forest or any popular server bestie, I'm telling you, take that trailer and change your home stable to a place with no one, okay? This is going to be so helpful. I was crashing every two seconds at Steve's. Another tip is definitely to get like, as you see some players already moving home stables to less populated ones. I recommend Dundle if you have unlocked it. If not like Grove, anything like that is going to be awesome as well and very, very helpful. It really minimizes crashing. But ever since I changed home stables, it completely minimized crashing. Also, if you like touch, okay, so when I'm logging into Star Stable, I realize like I will crash if I move my horse for the first 30 seconds. So when you are all loaded up and you are in a popular area, do not move, bestie. I'm telling you, like just let everything load up very slowly. Don't touch the keyboard, nothing like that for 30 seconds. And then once 30 seconds is up, make very slow movements. Like if I go to open my inventory, open my home stable, like change home stables, do all of that within a certain like time span where I do it super quickly, that increases chances of crashing by so much, so much. So very slow movements are going to help you in this case. And also again, unpopulated home stable. Like I have not crashed throughout the duration of this video so far. And that is saying something. At Steve's, I would have crashed five times now. So it definitely changes depending where you are and you don't even need to change to an unpopulated home server for this you could still stay in your server without moving just move home stables so you always have that to fall back on and check out the character update in a less populated area because so many people are accessing the servers at the same time next thing that you want to do when you oh bestie teleported in my home stable what is that but the next thing the very very first thing you want to do when you log on other than minimize risk of crashing i recommend using your free appearance chain now this is because star stable did match up like the assets as best as possible to your current avatar but i don't know when i logged on i was not expecting my player character to look like that at all and using that free appearance chain just checking out the appearance change process is definitely helpful so here down here it'll say you have one free change and it will like specify that you have one free change so don't be scared that you are going to be spending your star coins or anything like that unless you do want to left click and drag to rotate your character oh okay i didn't even see that up there before. but using that free change is definitely helpful because again there are so many options with the new player characters rather than before there weren't as many so definitely find Finding something and spending time on creating a character that you like it can be super fun honestly she's not half bad like it's gonna take some getting used to but I feel like with the customization everything like that after I get used to it it's going to be a little bit better so um yeah definitely spending time and going through all the eyebrow options especially eyebrows completely change the face like I'm not even joking bestie like eyebrows look at this it completely changes so make sure you find some that really want and use that free change to experience the new character in all of its fullness if that makes sense not gonna lie bestie i literally just crashed again there's so many people this is insane but right after you create your look and overall like skin tone body shape everything like that i recommend doing that first because the wigs and the hairstyles i uh, i like them wigs but the wigs bestie the wigs will change your look completely and another thing i recommend go to every single salon in game okay do not skip out do not skimp on any salon they add 
added back the like kind of curly short hairstyle that was like granite hairstyle if you know what i'm talking about bestie like they added back so many see like the hairstyle alone will change your look drastically so definitely go and create yourself a little mini like shopping list wish list and invest in some wigs today okay guys like wigs are half the fun this is what i'm talking about this is what i'm talking about i love wigs like look it completely changes your avatar and everything like that so definitely also checking out the makeup if there's any makeup you like i really like this one i feel like the little smoky eye with the eyeliner makes it look cute as well this is also super duper helpful but basically you could show owns and also change your appearance directly from the hairstyle salons but again with some hairstyles and makeups makeup options you can only access them through certain salons so i would look on star stable database and try to match it up as best as you possibly can before you know going out and buying some or if you want to buy some definitely do if you are in love with that but do not miss out on any of the hairstyle salons here is a quick list of the ones that i went to we have the steve's salon then you want to go to the fir grove salon there is one in yarlaheim there is one at fort pinta there is another one at Yarlaheim, and I think those are all of the main- Oh yeah, and there is one at Governor's Fall. Do not forget about that one. Take the bus to Governor's Fall and really make sure that you are making the character that you like. Because again, a simple makeup change or a hairstyle change can completely give it a different feel, and maybe you might like it a bit more than it was before. Like, I don't know. I feel like there's a lot of different styles going on here, and I really do like how it turns out when you put the time into it and like try to make it work like you have to really give it a chance but once you do i feel like you'll be a lot more comfortable with it or at least decided something that kind of reminds you of your old character another thing beware of bugs like this is a reoccurring bug that i see also my feet are not in the stirrups at all but these are just some things going on today especially with the amount of server overload that i'm sure is happening right now again keep in mind time zones so like if you are on american north american servers or uk servers and you want to play but your computer can't handle it or something you could like stay up a little bit later to check it out when everyone's asleep i woke up at 5 a.m when the update was posted and that really helped i was not crashing as much when less people were online but i could definitely tell the difference now that everyone's awake and checking out the update i could definitely see a difference happening in the amount of times that i crashed like take things slow and when i mean slow i mean slow escargot <laughs> Last, but most importantly, get inspiration from other people's player characters and just look at them. Look at the entirely different dynamic and environment that Star Stable is now. Like, this is insane. Just like, oh my god, it's gonna take so much time to get used to this, but definitely spend some time. So if you can, like, first I would definitely get customization out of the way and checking everything like that out. If you can, try to spend some time in popular places so you can see see everyone else's player characters and just get of what star stable is going to look like and be like from now on which is a huge change i mean just look at this this is insane the star stable ambassador star stable game master oh my god oh my god select oh wait i need to take a picture one sec bestie but yeah definitely i recommend spending some time it's super fun to see everyone logging on and checking out the new player character you could definitely get inspiration from different outfits that players have like for example if you like how this shirt looks but not this one you'd be like oh okay i know what type of outfit i want to make or like you could see people if you like how skirts look on your avatar or if you like how cargo pants look on your app just really getting a taste of the new style Okay, one bonus thing I really, really want to mention. Okay, I am getting scared with the lag. Not gonna lie, it's like, eh, hey, hey. Jump scare if I will get, um, 
crashed or not. Okay, there we go. We're good. Busty, we made it. But another thing is go through the different types of clothing on your avatar because everything fits so differently now and find what you like more on your avatar and what you don't like. For example, like a regular t-shirt you might like more than a crop top or a like vest, a jacket if you like bulkier clothes or whatnot. Definitely experiment on how your player character looks. This is an outfit I think looks pretty good for my taste so far, but I am still kind of looking through my closet and going through kind of looking through everything and how it fits on my avatar because there's definitely a lot of changes going on in my closet. Like the dresses fit a lot different. The cargo pants fit a lot different. So do they crop tops and the icons look different. So familiarize yourself again with your closet. Something super fun to do is go through how the accessories fit because bestie, they look so different compared to what they did before. So definitely going through that and just kind of getting used to the new feel and getting used to your closet because let's be honest, it's kind of like your closet is full of brand new items that you didn't have before because of how they fit or how they look on your player avatar. So again, that is a lot of changes to familiarize yourself with. Hi everyone, thank you so much for watching the Star Stable video. I hope these were helpful and if you have any more like tips, inspiration ideas, let me know down in the comments below or if you want more because I could definitely do that too. But this is a huge game changing update and uh, yeah, let me know what you think of it and your opinions in the comments down below. I feel like if you style them right, they can have completely different vibes. So yeah, also I love to pet the inside of my horse. I just, I'm great that way. I'm searching, I'm searching around.